This is Sheree Reed from Chicago, and I love J. Ross TV. What's up, y'all? This is your boy J. Ross on the road down here in St. Louis uh, with my boy Sheree Reed, y'all. And uh, just want to get some some understandings and conversations are going, you know, by a guy that's world class who traveled the world doing what he do, playing bass, y'all. So so uh, just kind of pay attention and you can, you'll can you learn a lot. Now, you know, we don't rehearse nothing around here, so it's all good. Hey, it's right, right on to it. Now, you're a professed Christian, believe in Jesus Christ, right? Yes, sir. So now you run around with R. Kelly. You play a lot, all this R&B music. How do you justify yourself? You got to speak up now. Don't get quiet. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great question. I, um, I mean, I personally, you know, my my beliefs, and not, I feel they're biblically based, but the um, Bible says, you know, judge not lest you be judged. And I also believe that everybody that's sent here is sent here for a reason, you know. And, um, you know, R. Kelly, you know, he has his controversial music. He also has some... Uh, non-controversial, you know, kind of spirit, you know, themed things. But as far as my involvement, um, I just believe that, you know, sometimes, you know, God places you places for reasons that are beyond, you know, what you may think. Mm -hmm. And um, I also believe that, you know, if you're um, a vessel for God, you should be able to take in some things and allow it to come out of you comes in negative, you should be able to push it out positive. Like you can take someone's insult and allow yourself to not push it back, you know, but put something positive out there. So I feel like that with music too. You know, you might be in a, you know, a, a non you know, a non gospel Christian situation, but I think you're able to still process that and let, you know, let yourself go out there in a positive way. So, so like let me ask you this, so like when you're on stage, you've been playing with them a long time and and uh, and he's singing bumping and grinding and hit it from the back and I'm gonna lick you till it blow up and all that. Uh, that don't affect you at all, like over the years. You kind of get into your spirit. Yeah, you know what it does, but um, I think it's just how you allow how it's like what you do with it after you get it. You know, like if I take that, you know, the things he's saying, I go and do um, negative things with it, then I'm not I'm not doing myself, you know, the service that you know that I'm supposed to do. If I'm able to take it, you know, and I'm able to, you know, put it in the right place, you know, yeah. to learn from it, you know, and make my own music and make my own, you know, decisions that are, you know, more aligned with what I believe, you know, then I think that's the way you go about that. So now, have you ever been on stage and look around and say, man, what the am I doing here? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Often. Oh, yeah. yeah. But, you know, that's, you know, I think that's a part of it. You know, I'm, I'm a firm believer that, you know, we have this life, you know, so, you know, this life is not, this life is to live, yeah. you know, and um, I believe in God that, you know, also, um, he, you know, he said, I come that you might have life and that more abundantly, so I believe that, you know, when I get up in the morning, what I do is I be like, God, you know what, direct my day, you know, show me where I need to go, who I need to talk to, take those things out of my life that are not like you, so I kind of put it all on him. And that way, I can live my day without having to think like, okay, I gotta not do this, I gotta do this. Like, now nah, you know what? I'm giving it to God. He's gonna direct me. You know, so that's how I approach. What do you think about the quality of mu musicianship or in the music business today, amongst your peers? No names. Wow. Um, now, are we, are we talking strictly music, or are we talking like? We can talk about whatever you want to talk about. Okay, let's talk about it. Um, I don't know, I think that there are a, a, a lot of phenomenal musicians out there. Like, you know, some of the, you know, some of the players that I've had a chance to, you know, not just play with, but hang out with and, you know, just listen in sheds. They're doing stuff now that, you know, gospel music is running it right now. Yeah. You know, you, these cats, you know, I mean, even the cats in R&B, they come from the church. So gospel music, you know, gospel musicians, they're running it right I think we're the most innovative people that are out as far as musicians right now. So as far as that, you know, I'm, I'm very excited about the future of music, you know, because these younger guys and guys that, are in the, that have been around, they're doing it. You know, as far as like 
attitudes. It seems like you know everybody's pretty cool. It's, you know the industry is kind of cliquish. At the, you know you know you got people that stick with their own you know their own camps. You know you understand that you know because you want to be around the people that you know you're comfortable with. But um, you know I think it could be uh, I think it could be detrimental because you know when you start making all this money and you start doing all these big shows and then you know your head starts to blow up with your career. You know and then you know you get lippy. You start saying things that maybe you shouldn't say. You know. You know, then God brings you down, and then all of a sudden you want to turn into holy man, you know. So that's why, you know, the Bible says don't be overly uh, spiritual, but don't be overly worldly, too. That's an Ecclesiastes volume Bible it is. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. So, so, like, now, that's for as musicianship. What about the persona of the persons today? Is it like it was, like, when, say, 10 years ago, has has attitudes changed toward uh, as far as like people like in, in a sense of what you just said people saying that they're uh, uh, carrying the spirit of God but no soon they you know you turn your back they at strip clubs and mm -hmm. running around the, everybody dressing room mm -hmm. you know um, you know like I said I don't at this point in my life I don't I don't judge you know what somebody else does because I you know well it's not judging you you I mean if this something you visually see. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're the MD or you uh, the artist, it's not a judgment. I mean, you see this going on. Yeah, but I mean the way the way I look at it though, it's like when I say judge, what I mean is, you know, I don't know, like, you know, you got to leave, you know, you got to go to the next thing that you're going to after this interview. But I'm going to church, right? You know see, what I'm saying? you're going to sing about hitting it from the back. Absolutely. All right. But I can't like the way I feel. It's like I can't. I can't judge your path to where you're going next. You know, you might get on the expressway, go straight to where you're going, or you may take a bunch of side streets, but you still gonna get to where you're going. And I'm not the one to be like, because you took those side streets, you know, you you know, right. you're less than me. Yeah, I see what you're saying on that. Expressway, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But what's your wife uh, think about all that? Oh. You being out here with all these women running around half naked and dancing all across the stage and hollering their name, throwing their bloomers at you and Oh, Sheree! Oh, Sheree! <laughs> now, your wife, is she uh, even a uh, headed person? Jealous? Uh, yeah, no, no, no. My, my wife is a, uh, she is a really special, she's really special. Um, first of all, they don't throw bloomers at me. No, <laughs> not me. They throw them, but not at me. But, um, yeah, no, my, my, and not just my wife. I think that it takes, for you, for you to be married and out, you know, playing in the, you know, in the industry, right. even the gospel industry, you know, I won't just say that it's secular because, you know, a lot of stuff happens everywhere, but I think that it takes a special woman to be married to a musician, especially a musician who has, you know, some type of a reputation or a name or anything like that because of everything that comes with that, but, you know, I would say to, like, the women who are married, you know, to these musicians, you know, support your husband and get, you know, when you really, you know, when you really allow him to just be himself, you'll find that he'll turn his love back towards you.